Hey everybody, Fu here with part 27 of Build Your Republic Commando. We're going to look at the electronics and the helmet, the basic electronics. We're going to look at the EL wire and the spot lamp, both of which are requirements. Uh, fans and mics and all that other stuff, not requirements, and I don't have them yet. So a spot lamp, basically uh, depending on the LED you've got, I think this is a 5 millimeter. you're going to drill just a little bigger or take a 5 millimeter drill bit, which I think is a 16-30 seconds or something, or 1654. fours. Anyway, find a drill bit that's a little bigger than your LED and you're gonna drill down in there. Mark on your drill bit on the side, tape off so that you don't go through the back of this. You wanna go down about three quarters of the way. And then on the inside, you're gonna go ahead and take uh, the drill bit, if you can get it from that angle, and drill a little bit, or you can just do it with an X-Acto blade or a hand maul or something, but you're gonna get that, that breakthrough into the tunnel you made. Okay, if you got a TZA kit, you're going to have these nice thick industrial wires uh, Jester uh, hooked up with. Um, you're going to have your 9-volt your connector. You're going to have a resistor uh, in there. And then you're going to have two wires. Follow part 26, uh, where I show you the positive and negative connections. But basically, comes the red comes out, goes to your resistor. You put shrink tubing over it. Goes out to the red wire. Red wire comes out to the LED. Now what I did is I fed the wires from the inside of the helmet up through this hole so they were sticking out a couple inches and then I went ahead and did my solder work on the LED and shrink tubed it while it was up and out and then the same thing with the negative coming out the diode side of the LED, put the shrink tube on it and then ran it back in. That way once it was all set I could you know reach down inside the helmet and pull those wires and it would pull the light down into place. Um, your negative comes back out. That's where I, I did the switch into one side of the switch. Now when you deal with switches, you're going to have three three posts. Um, you just got to kind of figure it out. It's going to be your middle one and either the left or the right, depending on, on how your switch is set up. So figure out before you wire it, you know, run the battery and, and see what's on, see what's off. So you go into one and into one right next to it. You'll never skip the one in the middle. And then back out to the end of the post. So, when you hook it up, you should get a power supply and hit our switch, and there we go, we've got light. And by the way, Jaster used the world's most powerful LED. I blinded myself for like five minutes while I was wiring this, so, you know, go sparingly on it. It'll last a long time, but it'll freaking blind you. Thanks, Jaster. Um, so there is your side lamp and switch. You can mount that switch and battery however you want. Duct tape it in there, hot glue it in there. Uh, there's little racks you can buy. Velcro it onto the rack. All right, EL wire. This is where a lot of people really screw up their RCs. All right, what I've done is I'll rip it out here. I took the EL wire and I took my Velcro and I just cut a real thin strip of the loop end of the Velcro and attached it to the top of the EL wire. So it's actually, you know, you can see that the Velcro is just a little thinner than the actual wire itself. And then what I did is I went along this inside lip here and I cut it back at an angle, about a 45 degree angle, so that wire will sit in there and kind of have a home where it's going to go. And then on the inside lip, there we go, I put the hook end of the Velcro just at the very top edge of that 45 slant. I went beyond left and right where it needed to be. So that when I put the EL wire in, all I have to do is knock my helmet all over the place and watch it go scattering. Roll it so that the hook is on the top edge and then walk it around to just catch the loop or catch the hook and then you want to rotate it down. You want the Velcro facing up. Now this is kind of hard to do because I've only got one hand on it. But what that gives you is the ability to adjust it in little bits where gluing it or other things is not. And then you can see you know, when it's lit up depending on the angle you got it. Okay I'd have to pull that down some. But what you want for this to be right, you want it so when you're looking at it straight on you want it like that. You don't want the whole thing exposed, you want just the edge of the blue so about half of the wire is going to be sticking down below it. 
And the nice thing about this Velcro is you can just move it little bits and reconnect it as you go to get it where you need to. And then when you put your visor in behind it, um, I've been doing a couple things with wires. This is a, a welding uh, visor. It's a little too dark. Um, I bought some blue mirrored window tinning, which I really like the color on. Um, I taped that on there. And put this down.